It's after school, and Julian's alone in the science lab. He's a science whiz, and he comes here every day to work on his project, a life-size robot. Julian's been building this robot for months. It would have been finished already if it weren't for all the other responsibilities Julian has, like chores and homework. He wishes he didn't have to do any of that stuff so he could spend more time in the lab. Better yet, he wishes he could program this robot to do it all for him. Julian looks at the clock, 3.33 p.m. Three's always been Julian's lucky number, so he pauses his work, closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and makes a wish with all his might. I wish this robot would do the stuff I don't want to do. A spark flies out of the robot, startling Julian, but when he opens his eyes, nothing's changed. Then, Julian realizes... 3.33? The bus leaves at 3.30! In a mad dash, Julian covers his robot with a tarp and goes, leaving his backpack behind by mistake. The next morning, Julian grabs his backpack from the lab. He wishes he could just stay here and keep working on his robot, but he has to get to class. When the teacher collects last night's homework, Julian freezes. He didn't do it. He didn't have his backpack after all. But when he opens it now, he finds a completed assignment. Julian hands it in, dumbfounded, but relieved. Could it be? Did his wish come true? After school, Julian removes the tarp from his robot. Except it's not his robot. It's a person. A person who looks just like him. Julian screams. The person screams. Julian stomps his feet. The person stomps his feet. It's like looking in a mirror. Julian puts up his hand and the person mirrors him. Their hands make contact and the person's hand is cold to the touch. Cold as in mechanical. Then, robot Julian grabs a textbook and sheet of paper from Julian's backpack. At lightning speed, it flips to the page assigned for tonight's homework and starts writing. Julian looks up at the clock. 3.28. He has to get to the bus. Julian thanks Robot Julian for doing his homework and dashes out, again leaving the robot alone in the science lab. Without homework to do, Julian stayed up late, goofing off and slept through his alarm the next morning. He gets to school late and rushes to the lab to grab his backpack, and more importantly, the finished homework inside it. But it's nowhere to be found, and neither is the robot. He sneaks in through the door at the back of the classroom, hoping the teacher won't notice he's late. But when he reaches his desk, Robot Julian is already sitting there. The teacher stares at the real Julian, confused. She mumbles something to Robot Julian about not knowing he had a twin brother, and could he please ask him to go back to his own classroom? Julian tries to convince the teacher that it's him. He's the real Julian. This is just a robot. But the more he argues, the crazier he sounds. I'm Julian, says Robot Julian in a human voice. The teacher threatens to call the principal, so Julian leaves. He waits outside the school for the rest of the day. From the window, he sees Robot Julian hang out with his friends, carrying his backpack, using his locker. At 3.25, Julian tries to get on the bus, but Robot Julian is already there, sitting in his usual window seat. With all students accounted for, the bus driver drives off. Julian runs back to the lab, just in time for the clock to strike 3.33. He closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and wishes with all his might that everything would go back to normal, and for the robot to go back in the lab where it belongs. What he doesn't know is that at exactly the same time, Robot Julian is making the very same wish. And like Julian, three is Robot Julian's lucky number. When Julian opens his eyes, nothing seems to have changed. But when he sees the backpack beside him, he feels drawn to it. Mindlessly, almost mechanically, he unzips the backpack and takes out the homework inside. Without another thought, Julian begins rigorously working away, almost as if he was programmed to.